Hello and a very warm welcome to 3.0 OTV. I am your Web3 host Parvati Nirman. Crypto TV has rebranded itself as 3.0 OTV to provide an all-round update to viewers and bring an understanding of the evolving digital segment including cryptocurrencies, blockchain projects, metaverse, non-fungible token, cybersecurity and many more. Keep watching 3.0 OTV for all things related to Web3 and get up to date with happenings and the transformations of the digital space. Today I have brought you a very interesting update on what to expect from the Ethereum 2.0 merge which is just around the corner and scheduled to happen very soon. So Ethereum Foundation has addressed some misconceptions and presented clarity from their side around the new merge. The Ethereum Foundation wrote that the merge will not reduce Ethereum gas fees because it is change of consensus mechanism and not an expansion of network capacity. Reports had advised Ethereum users to use layer 2 network solutions for cheaper transactions. The Ethereum Foundation insisted that the transition to the POS network would not result in any downtime for its users. According to the foundation, the merge will be triggered by a set terminal total difficulty. The foundation added that the transactions on Ethereum will not become noticeably faster after the merge. While it considered that some slight changes would occur, the foundation believes that users using the layer 1 network might not notice any difference in its speed. Proof of stake blocks will be produced 10% more frequently than on proof of work. This is a fairly insignificant change and is unlikely to be noticed by users. The foundation also mentioned that staking APR will be roughly 50% and not the 200% being touted by many within the community. So when will staking withdrawals be enabled? Ethereum Foundation said withdrawals will remain locked and illiquid for at least 6 to 12 months following the merge. Staked ETH, staking rewards and newly issued tokens will remain on the beacon chain until the Shanghai update. The foundation also addressed fears that there could be mass withdrawals from validators once withdrawals are enabled, saying only 6 validators may exit per epoch, which means every 6.4 minutes, so 1350 per day or only 43200 ETH per day out of over 10 million ETH staked. Next is running node does not require staking 32 ETH. Ethereum Foundation said users do not need 32 ETH to run a node on the network. Nodes that can propose blocks on the POS require staked ETH, while the other types of nodes cannot submit blocks. Instead, they serve a critical role in securing the network by holding all block proposers accountable. According to the foundation it is essential for anyone with the ability to run their nodes as it ensures the network's decentralization. Interesting isn't it? Now I am excited for the merge. I guess you guys are as well. Well that's all was in store from the crypto world an interesting update on Ethereum 2.0 merge. For more updates interesting stories of the web3 world don't forget to like share comment and subscribe 3.0 OTV on YouTube Instagram Facebook Meta and Twitter I'm Parvati Nirban signing off for now bye bye and take care and keep watching 3.0 OTV